Hi guys, how do you do? Welcome to the Edition Program Users. Now for today, we are going to uh, continue with the Android Grid View series of tutorials. We are going to see how to perform basic CRUD operations to the Grid View. This is what I am talking about. Right here, our Grid View is empty. We come, click our Fab button. It brings us a dialog here. Let's say that you want to add new data. We simply come, click. Okay, then you can see right here, our data uh, gets added. We can add as many data as we want. We simply come, click add, our data gets added. Okay, so you can see right here we're having uh, our data. Now take note, of course, these ones we've added. What if you want to update? Let's say that you want to update this one. We simply come over right here and let's say that I want to uh, give it a new name like this one. Right here, take note of its position. Then I come click update. You can see right here gets updated perfectly what of this one let's say that i want to i just give it something crazy like this one then i simply come and then update it okay we can update it as uh just as you want so we can for instance just come right here and then uh just click update then you can see right it gets updated what if you want to delete well to delete also you click then you simply come and then click delete the data gets deleted over here okay let's say that i want to delete this pioneer right here i simply come delete it and then it gets deleted this is what we're going to see join me we we'll get started what we're going to do is to create our project so go ahead create yours once we've done this one inside our build creator we really don't need anything special now the next thing that we're going to do over let's come over it to our layout okay so to our layout Inside our content main dot xml, we're going to make sure that we're having right here our grid view. Take note, I've given it three columns right here. I've assigned it an ID because we shall be referencing it from our main activity. Also, we're going to create another layout. I've called mine input dialog right here. This particular layout, or this one right here, this is the input dialog that you're seeing. You can see I'm having three buttons. Just, of course, I'll arrange right here in a linear layout horizontal okay orientation then of course on top of them i'm having an edit text where we're going to be entering the name so this is it this is my input dialog so please make sure that you prepare your layouts let's move over to our classes two classes of course our main activity and then another class that i've called crud this is where we're going to be performing our crud operations this particular class now the first thing we're going to create instantiate an array list globally right here okay I'm calling it names right here is going to act as a temporary data store so it is this array is going to be holding our data now for us what we're going to do of course the first thing save our data how are you going to save well we create a simple method save we simply pass that name uh, name over right here then we come and then add it to our array list that's how we're going to save our data what about to retrieve well to retrieve all data we're just going to come here and say get names okay so get names we make sure that we simply return uh, the whole of our array list does it does it so this get names it is going to expose uh, these are temporary data source then of course to update our data we're going to be returning a boolean no, to update will require you to pass in the position as well as the string right here that's going to represent the new name now to update of course first we need to remove the initial item so we simply remove the item at that particular position then of course we add a new item at that specific position so names that add we pass in the position the index and then of course right here the new name okay we return true and there is also going to return false that's how we're going to update our data what about to delete well to delete almost the same thing we come right inside the try catch block first to passing in the position then of course we simply remove the item at that particular position we return true otherwise we return false if you're having an exception guess this is it this is going to be a CRUD class it's how we're going to be performing this particular CRUD operations to a simple array list let's move over to our main activity to be our main activity take note we're simply first of all declaring a couple of uh, first of all of course our grid view then of course our array adapter who shall use to be bind uh, to bind our data then we are globally insertiating our CRUD class okay 
is going to give us access to our CRUD methods like saving and then uh, getting all the names, retrieving and everything, deleting etc. Then we're also just declaring right here a uh, dialog. Okay, then inside here we come of course reference our grid view. Now we're having a floating action button. So what we're going to do, of course, when our floating action button is clicked, what are you going to do? Well, we're going to show the dialog uh, for, of course, inserting new set of data. That is when our floating action button is clicked. So let's go ahead and do that one. The first thing we're going to create this method, uh, display input dialog. We're going to pass in the position inside it. What we're doing here first, we insertiate the dialog itself. Then we set its title. We also make sure that we set its layout. Okay, input dialog layout. Then of course, once we've done that one, we're going to go ahead and then just uh, reference the views that we're going to have inside that particular dialog. Edit text and then our three buttons. Take note, we're referencing them from our dialog instance, android.app.dialog instance. Then of course, once we've done that one, now we're going to have a simple if else statement right here that's going to help us know whether we've uh, actually, whether we are we are to display whether we've displayed the dialog actually for input for new data okay input of new data or for updating our data we need to know that one so that we can enable or disable some buttons for instance if the negative one right here is passed as the position of the item then we're going to know that we're showing our dialog for the sake of inputting new data so because of that one we're going to disable the update button as well as the delete button while enabling only the add button otherwise if right here if that's not the case if the position being passed is not equal to negative one then we're going to know that okay we are show we've showed the dialogue for the sake of any okay we can add new data we can update we can delete and this one we're going to do this one if simply there's a selects a single item in our spinner then we pass in the position of the item that is selected then meanwhile we're going to set the text right here to that particular item that actually is selected so that's it that's it that's what we're doing over right here then the next thing of course is to see how to add our data now to add our data we're going to come right here if our add button is clicked first we get the name particular piece of data from our edit text then we validate it then of course uh, if it doesn't pass our validation then we're going to show a simple toast this go ahead and then save then of course we clear our edit text we insert our array adapter we first of, of course we're passing in the context then of course the layout that we're going to be using and then of course our data source crude.get names is going to return for us our data source then of course we set it to our grid view that's it that's how we're going to add our data what about updating okay the same thing first of all we get the new name that we want to update we get it from our edit text that is we are doing this one when this has clicked the button okay then of course we validate it then to update the update was is going to return for us a boolean now we have it right here in if else statement we pass in the position and then of course the new name now if we successfully updated we're going to set the text to that particular new name we reinstate our adapter then of course set our adapter to our grid view that's it for update then of course what about for deleting almost the same thing the first thing over here when our delete button is clicked we call the crude uh, the delete method then we pass in the position okay the position right here that shall be passed uh, inside the delete method so we're going to delete uh, the data from that particular position then of course we clear our edit text insert our adapter set our adapter to a grid view that's it that's going to do for us that's how we're going to be uh right here adding updating and then of course deleting next we're going to come over right here we handle our item selected listener for grid view so what are you going to do if our item is selected well of course we know we're going to display our uh, input dialog what about if our fab button floating action button is clicked we're going to display input dialog but then pass in uh, index as negative one because we want to add a new data then of course right here if we're an item has been selected we're going to check if our dialog is not equal to null then we check if it is showing if it is actually showing if that's the case 
then we're going to display our input dialog with the position of that particular item okay display input dialog we pass in the position of that item that has been selected that's it that's what we're going to uh, be doing over right here so here what we're simply saying uh, display dialog for new data okay that's it that's what we're going to do this does it just go ahead and then uh, run our project and see what we have this is what we get what if we want to add a uh, new data we simply come right here and then add uh, the data that we want okay so we can add as many data as we want in fact uh okay yeah we can just come right here and add what of for instance we can just come right here select new one over right here then click add then we are able to add a new data what of if you want to update for instance we can come over right here and then have this one as maybe a challenger then you come click update this is going to get updated you can see right here okay what of if you want to delete we simply come click and then of course click delete our data right here gets deleted like for instance if i want to delete this one let's say that i want to delete the challenger right here i simply come click it gets deleted this is it guys uh, this is uh, what we've looked at i'm hoping you guys have enjoyed the tour if you have like it share it and subscribe so that you don't miss any of our android tutorials take care i'll catch you in the next tutorial